Hello and welcome to a UX pin tutorial. In this video, I'll be drawing a chart using the pen tool in UX pin. With the pen tool, you can draw any shape you want. It's useful when you need to draw shapes that are more complex than a regular rectangle or circle. The first thing I will design are the grid lines. I'm going to start with drawing a horizontal line. Here's a pro tip. To get straight angles, press shift while drawing. Now that you have your line, you can customize a few things. You can choose how the lines end and how they join. You can also define the starting and ending point, like an arrow, for example. You can also change the color, the type of the line, and adjust the weight of the stroke. Okay, now let's name that in our layers panel and let's duplicate it. Let's also distribute them vertically. I'm gonna group them and I'll label my group. To make it more logical, feel free to add a title to your project or any other details, label the axis, and align them as you wish. Once again, group your elements and name the layers to stay organized. Let's move on to the next step and let's draw the graph. You can draw polylines or bezier curves. Just use the pink candles to adjust the curves. And if you like to edit your line, just double click on the drawn line. In UX pin, there are four points, straight, mirrored, asymmetric, and disjointed. To achieve more elegant and smooth lines, change your points from straight to mirrored. The disjointed mode can be used to make ends of the lines perfected, since it allows you to position the handles both at different angles and different distances from the point. Feel free to play around with the different options to see what works best for your project. Now I'll just edit the color, the stroke, and the weight. Now that the line is done, I'll need to add a fill to my chart. There's many ways to do it, but here I'll just duplicate the line and I will complete my shape to close it. Next, I will add a fill to the shape and add in add a gradient. I also want my grid to show, so I'll adjust the blending options. I'll group in the layers here again to stay organized. And now my last step is to use a Boolean operations, which will allow you to combine shapes created by the pen tool. I'm using the pen tool again to create another shape. You'll need to select both shapes to see the combining options at the top toolbar.
There are four options. Union, which is to combine the selected shapes. Subtract, which, is, which will give you the shape of the bottom layer. Intersect, which will give you the shape of the overlapping layers. And Difference, which will show you the areas that do not overlap. In this example, I'll be using Intersect. Now I'll just adjust the style. I'm going to change the color and add a gradient. Awesome. Now to sum it all up, you can use the pen tool to draw polylines, busier curves, as well as open and close shapes. You can set path properties such as endpoints, ends, and joins. You can also set types of points. You can choose from straight, mirrored, asymmetric, and disjointed. And lastly, you can combine shapes with booleans with the options of union, subtract, intersect, and difference. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next tutorial.